Safde and welcome back to Healthy Living. I'm here with Jessica Olingog, dietitian at the Guam Memorial Hospital. So Jessica, can you tell us why is the month of March so important for nutrition? Yes, buenas and half a day. The month of March is very important for nutrition and our dietary department here at GMH. We celebrate many events at once during the month of March. National Nutrition Month, tomorrow month, and as you know, the Lenten season primarily falls during the month of March. So our dietary leaders got together to decide how to come up with an annual plan about how to celebrate all of these events at once. And we decided that on for tomorrow month, we came up with island teas. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, our production staff would develop and serve a local tomorrow menu. And then uh, for Lenten season, on Fridays and sometimes Wednesdays, our clinical staff and our production staff gets together and they develop a menu for the Lenten season. So that leaves us with Mondays where we put together a healthful meal, almost always made from scratch, uh, to serve to our customers and the cafeteria and our patients. So why don't we go back there now and we can take a look at our staff who work hard every day to make this happen. Welcome back to the production room here at the Guam Memorial Hospital Cafeteria. I'm here with Chef Jesse Talavera, who's going to tell us how his team ties into nutritional values for the month of March. Well, so basically what we do here is we take set menus, therapeutic diets, we break it down from the level of dietitians, and we execute it here by the cooks, and we give it out through special diet assistance, all rolled around nutritional value. Um, we offer a, a, mo a modest amount of food for a cost-efficient uh, cost price over here at a cafeteria. And uh, basically what we do here is give nutritional food. Okay, so you know that's, uh, the food here is not only for GMH patients, but anyone in the community who might be passing by, maybe visiting. And uh, one thing that I think that's really important is that the food here, it tastes good and it's cheap and it's convenient. Uh, a lot of times the easiest food to eat is kind of fast food, something that's unhealthy. So how do you, how does, how do you guys make that convenient for the customer? Well, basically we prepare everything uh, according to specs and uh, dietary and therapeutic needs. A lot of the times here to stay in our society, we choose conveniency over nutritional value. And it takes just a few hours of your day during the beginning of the week just to meal plan. That's how we do it here. We go from meal planning to executing it and to distributing it. And that's basically, in a nutshell, what we do here at GMH. And that's what makes it easier here is because you have the dietitians, you have the production team, so people don't have to worry about planning out their meals, if is it healthy, you know, you guys control the portions and the exactly. ingredients. And then I think another interesting thing is that the food here is it's really not that expensive because I come through a lot to do stories on GMH and sometimes I'll pop in and grab, you know, a bite to eat, maybe a soup or a sandwich and it's always really inexpensive and so a lot of times people think that healthy food has to be expensive but that's really not the case. It's not the case. Come on down. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Chef. So up next, we'll go upstairs to meet with more GMH uh, dietitians to talk about nutritional tips. Welcome to the dietitian's office here at the Guam Memorial Hospital. I'm here with Roselle Marasikin, who's going to give us some nutritional tips for all those in the community. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is savor the flavor of eating right. Some people make mistakes of thinking that fruits and vegetables are gross or boring. Mm -hmm but there are plenty of ways to prepare these foods so that they actually taste good and they can complement other foods. Definitely. Uh, citrus is a good example of a healthier option for flavoring your foods instead of salt. Mm -hmm. And then eating right means making half your plate fruits and vegetables, uh, choosing whole grains, choosing leaner proteins like poultry, fish, beans, mm -hmm. then there's also moving to low fat or fat free milk mm -hmm. and cutting back on added sugars and sodium intake because those can ruin your flavor palette. Okay, so is it better to go with low sodium products or, you know, people say like fat free, is that better than a, a regular product that would have all the fat in it? It depends, like for milk, we could use like this one, fat free milk mm -hmm. instead of like whole milk which are loaded with fat, which would probably be appropriate for kids, but mm -hmm. for us adults, be fat-free or low-fat, reduced fat. 
Okay, some other questions are some things that I've heard people talk about is, for example, you know, butter, real butter versus artificial butter. And people say that artificial butter is supposed to be better for you. Is that, is that the case? In moderation, I would say. Okay, so everything in, in moderation. Yes. Uh, what about, you know, uh, just drinks? People think a lot about eating, what they're eating. They don't think about what they're drinking. Do you have any advice for that? I would say cut back on those sugar drinks. They are loaded with unnecessary carbohydrates. Uh, stick to water, uh, natural juices, mm -hmm. um, milk, fat-free milk, or reduced fat milk. Okay, a lot of times people say, you know, when you're trying to uh, maintain a healthier lifestyle. They say you shouldn't eat really late at night, you know, try to eat a bigger breakfast and don't yes. eat past a certain time. Is that true? What's your advice? Um, we would say eat, try to eat a bigger breakfast and lunch. Make it a smaller dinner if possible. Okay, well, so for people who want to find out more, I know we're just touching the surface here, but for people who want to find more about um, eating healthier or a healthier diet, what resources can they go to? Uh, there is eatright.org and also choosemyplate.gov. All right, well, thank you so much, Rizal, for sharing those tips with us. Well, stay tuned. Happy Nutrition Month, and we'll be back after the break.